Hi, my name is Joanna. I work for Galileo where my job is to create programs for kids to help them grow as innovators. For today's project challenge, you will be creating mini food sculptures that you can actually eat out of edible Play-Doh. To do this, you'll need to be determined by not giving up on your favorite food sculpture idea and trying your best to complete it, even if it seems difficult. To get started, you'll need some unsalted butter, some honey or corn syrup, salt, powdered sugar, vanilla extract, some food coloring, a spatula, mixing bowl, measuring spoons and cups, and a clean work surface. You'll also want a few extra bowls and spoons so that you can mix different colors of Play-Doh separately. To make mixing the dough easier, you can also use an electric mixer. But don't worry if you don't have one of these, you can also just do it with a spatula or wooden spoon. When it's time to sculpt the dough, there's a variety of objects you can use to make different textures on the dough, such as toothpicks, forks, or tinfoil. Well, now we're ready to start making our dough. At this point, you may need to ask an adult to help you in the kitchen. Start off by putting a quarter cup of butter into a small bowl. That would be half of a regular stick of butter. Then melt the butter by putting it in the microwave for 15 to 30 seconds. Once your butter is melted, go ahead and pour it into a mixing bowl. Then you'll add a quarter cup of honey or corn syrup, a half teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then you'll stir it up with a spatula. Next, you'll measure out three cups of powdered sugar. You'll mix in a half cup of powdered sugar one at a time. Be sure to completely mix the sugar in between each half cup so there are no chunks. Do this until you've put in all three cups of powdered sugar. Now, it's going to become more difficult to stir as you add more sugar. To make it easier, you can use an electric mixer. If you don't have an electric mixer, you'll just get a good arm workout here. But just remember, your sweet edible Play-Doh is definitely worth it. Once you've mixed it as much as you can in the bowl, go ahead and spoon it out onto your work surface and mix it the rest of the way with your hands. Once your dough has come together, it's time to think about the food sculptures that you want to create. One way to do this is you can start to think about some of your favorite foods. Once you've decided on what you want to create, think of the colors you'll need to sculpt that food. For example, if I chose a cheeseburger, I would need to make the colors brown, tan, red, green, and yellow. Once you start thinking of all the colors and shapes that you'll have to make to create your food, it might seem too difficult. But remember, be determined and stick with your idea. Try your best to complete it, even if it seems difficult. The next step is to separate your dough into different bowls so you can mix up the colors that you need. When using food coloring, start with just three to four drops. You can always add more if needed. Think about how you can mix food coloring to get the colors you need. For example, to get brown, I put a little bit of yellow, red, and blue into the bowl. There are lots of ways you can mix colors to make new ones. You can use a spoon to mix the color in, and you can use your hands. Once you've got your colors mixed, you can start sculpting. Try rolling your dough out flat with something round like a cup, and cutting out shapes with a butter knife. You can also crumple a piece of tin foil and press it into the dough to get a bumpy texture. Forks are great for imprinting texture too. You can try using a toothpick to poke little holes into your sculptures. Just stay determined and keep experimenting until you come up with the techniques that work to create your sculpture. Oh, and if you get hungry while you're working, feel free to have a snack. Once you're done, you can serve it to family or friends, or feast on it yourself. Well, that's it for this challenge. If you made an edible sculpture, we'd love to see it. So please take a photo or video and share. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Ooh, what? Yum. <laughs>